Hotep Mary, peace, love. E.T. Welcome to the Sibians of Energy Fusion, and today I will be discussing hive mind and how it works. Not many know what a hive mind is, but I'm gonna take it up on, on a different level. I'm gonna bring some, some more height and depth to the explanation. Now there's one way there there's one way that hive mind works, and it's that one thing something everything else experiences in some form or way, and we call that synchronicity. On Sega. So when one comes upon a revelation that hasn't been known to a collection of beings. This one being now free, excuse me. <clears throat> this one being who came across this revelation of information has now freed the rest of the beings who are of who they are, the opportunity to gain this wisdom as well which they already have, just not an inner and understanding of it yet. <sighs> Sorry about that. So, when one has collected the data from the hive mind, the, or the seer, the one who had the seeing of something that the rest wasn't so fair of. Now, these beings on the outer lands who don't know what this person know has the opportunity to gain this ability to know it or actively seek it without knowing. How this typically happens is that something changes drastically in one's life, okay? So you have hive mind connection, and let's say we're going, we're going to say the person that receives the information, say they have uh, been with you lives after lives after lives, which makes the energetic cord of information with them like this compared to the rest of the people, which may be like this or maybe even smaller. Let's say the person that actually got the relay of the information is kind, is more so like family energetically and physically. And the tube is like this. So they bring this information energetically. They don't even have to tell the family member. Just all of a sudden you go back to family member and they now have a new state of beingness. And they're unsure exactly how it works, but they know they like it, right? So they continue down the path of doing what they're doing. And mind you, they still don't know what you know, not yet. All they know is that they had a change in perspective and they want to do something different in their daily lives. That may be a strange, a strange to most. They continue this and they continue this in repetition and religious. For example, like one exercising in meditation. Then all of a sudden, one day they wake up, one second, one day they wake up and they're so excited and this made so much sense to them. And then they call you. <laughs> and like, hey, I just figuring something. And you're like, what? <gasps> it is the information you just found out like way, way, way time ago, but you never expressed to nobody because you knew that nobody would understand what you had to say. And then you hit them with a, 
das old. And some may hit them with it. That's amazing. You actually, and then continue conversation. See, when, you, when you're less of, of, of being, you know, airheaded about, you know, I'm the black sheep and things like that, then you can go somewhere. Because then when they tell you, you're like, okay. And then you start to build up that awareness that they have access. And then, <clears throat> excuse me. And this is when you start building spiritual communities. Then you start really um, coming into opportunities and possibilities to grow your awareness in different ways. You start to be more uh, objective in your seeking, not always in your emotions when you're seeking certain information. One second. You also learn how to receive information. And what I mean by that is, <clears throat> one second, sorry, Pergy. So what I mean by that is when someone comes to you with information and you know it's just what you need because they mention something that you're seeing, right? But then it come with all the various things and things like that. Well, you start to learn to how to dissect information that you truly need from the information you don't need. So you gotta under, when, you, when you get more into it, you start to understand that when people deliver information that is going to be all mixed up. Why? Because they have access to the information through their genetics. The only part is, is that there are, they, they're, <clears throat> how can I say it? They aren't balanced in their energies and their states of awareness, excuse me. So with that being said, that means when they're relaying the message, they may not even know they're relaying the message. And that's why it becomes so jumbled up and not just flat out give you information. It also can be like that depending on what they eat. We won't get too far on that. We're just going to stick into spirituality. If you would like to know about how transmissions can be jammed and all confusing through food, just leave a comment if you want that, that kind of level of deepness. However, we're going to stick with this. One second. You also got to think about it like this. <clears throat> Say that you typically meditate and you always keep your energy on point. If this day you decide to not collect yourself like you normally do, you receive quite the messy information deliverance. You might even experience something unsavory in your reality. Honing your energy is very important. Once you start doing it consistently, you will understand why you shouldn't break it. It may come days where it's just extremely off for you. Some kind of practice you stop that's been keeping your soul at solace. What that and when you have these practices that keep your soul at solace, it keeps the spirits that are attached to you at solace, especially if you are dealing with maybe you're cursed and you don't know, or let's say been hexed and you don't know. These daily practices help remove things like that. So if you break it at any given time, you may experience the turbulence of the energies you have been consistently removing to not experience and don't even know it. So it's important not to break your spiritual habits. They're very powerful. They are your life path with the regulation of energies around you and within yourself. With that being said, the things you experience also come from what you eat. They say you are what you eat. Yes, you are. The projections and frequencies you put off come from that. 
but you also are what you eat spiritually and um, mentally, not just physically. So it's important when you began to get more into your spirituality that you don't want to listen, you want to avoid listening to words that curse you. I don't, I really shouldn't need to say much there. the big word was curse you. So it's important to pay attention to what you listen to. It's been a long time since I've listened to music with words and occasionally I do. But I'm very, very meticulous in the words that I listen to. One second. Especially when you're a beginner programmer now we're not spirit, spiritual anymore. No, we are learning to program our awareness in being the way we want it to be, not anybody else's. So it's very important that you don't, you avoid listening to music with words. Allow yourself to be programmed by yourself first because only you know what you want. Only you have the intentions that are best for you, right? So also with that being said, vibration is highly useful against water. Any projection can change the frequency of water. Why am I saying this? Your body is 70% water. So make sure you program it properly and to your liking. Much love and happy ascension. Aizaki out. See you next time. Like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. Also, if you would like to donate to help us have a safe space to continue to deliver, deliver more so, liver, D means to divide, liver this information, <clears throat> support our growing business of wire wrap power creations, uh, or you could just donate just for the exchange of sharing wisdom. We give love to receive love. So let the love be, be spread amongst all and shimmy mauri hotel go and love and peace shim ir ma'at let's go do harmonious balance ijed ma'at i speak harmonious balance have a great day